in your mind, is the era of scaling over or is that like throwing people off the scent or what? Right. Is deep learning hitting a wall in air quotes? So yeah, we have these two camps. We have people who are like, well, look at all the lack of amazing products that are coming out. It's all hype. You know, you hit a wall. And then everyone in the major AI companies is like, yep, AGI soon, end of world as we know it in 27 or thereabouts. And then who knows what happened. They have a strange forecast of we will get AGI that should be transformational, that can radically accelerate the pace of AI progress and do all these other things. And then people like Altman are like, well, then nothing much will change. Right? Like your life will continue the same way. And it will basically be the better economic growth. But it, that story makes no sense, right? Like we might, we might, you might not get AGI, in which case we get the story of your life doesn't change much, but things get a little bit better because AI is cool. But if we get AGI, obviously your life is not going to seem the same for very long. It might get way better. It might get way worse. It might end. We don't know. But the story on its day is the same. It certainly wouldn't be like a automatic default outcome. It would be a, we deliberately engineered that it stayed the same, right? We, we chose under the hood to keep it the same because we couldn't do better. So my reconciliation is something like the strategy of just pushing forward by adding more zeros to everything. The same strategy that went from GPT-1 to 2 to 3 to 4, right? Which is about compute and data. That's coming to a close. That's just marginal. The marginal returns are declining, even in scaling law terms. And you're not going to get very far from here doing that. And that's why O1, right? That's why the other approaches. But this is my way of understanding it. 